Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family, and I want to say happy Thursday. So anyways, today's book of the day is Ghost Cats by Susan Shreve, and this is actually a hardback, and it's library bound, and the date in this is 1999. This is what the book looks like. It doesn't have the library card or anything in it. Nice little reader book. And the cover of this is like a, it's like a pink into, like a dark pink into a purple type look. This is what this book is. Second book is Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree by Walt Disney. And this is what this book looks like. Look at these pretty images. Beautiful. And then this one here is a hardback. This one's Go Dog Go. This is by P.D. Eastham. And this is 1961. And this is approved like the cat and hat. So this is what you get with this book. You get some character. <laughs> this is a little ripped right here. It's got a little stain right here. Like little fingers. But it's cleaned. And then it has these marks here. And it also has them in the back. Somebody wanted their name off. But the story is all there. And I love books with character like some people do. And see this has got like a little rippage look. But there's no pages missing. It's just torn away because you can hear it crack. So when you're with me, you hear what you're getting. <laughs> So this is it, and that's not too bad for being through a bunch of kids since 1961. That's my motto. Then we have the softback book called Shadows on the Wall by Phyllis Naylor. And this book is copyrighted for 1980. Now this is book one of three in a trilogy. And this is what the book looks like. Sometimes when we get books in... Um, they say trilogy and some don't I don't have the rest of this set so this is all I have but um sometimes you will get an author who will write a book and they won't know that it's going to continue so they don't put one but sometimes it can be a first and we not know it so unless like we're looking them up for some reason because I don't look up every single book to find out if they're a set or not I usually just see it in the book but if I do find out then I make a list so that I can look for them if they do come in. But these are the books of the day. And if you want to contact me, it's very easy. You can contact me through Minda's Bookstore and more, which is all one word, on Facebook through my messenger. Because a lot of times when people once become a customer through my Etsy or something, that's where they contact me anyways because they add my store Facebook. Because my name Facebook, I'm never hardly on. I'm always in my store Facebook which I will list all this in the description below, and I will put the ISBN numbers of these books so you can comparison shop and all that if they have an ISBN number. If they don't, you can just Google the name of the book, the title, and the author. So um, getting back to how to contact me, $2 or more I will ship. Because there's a lot of people that rather shop online now. And they don't like leaving home. Maybe because, you know, they're bed bound. I don't know. But there's some people that just like reading books. Or if you're taking care of a person that likes to read, this is the best way to shop from me. So $2 or more, you get in touch with me. You keep a list of the books that you want. And then when I'm like, I'm done with the kids or whatever, you can contact me. If you contact me through my email, which will also will list that below, I, um will put everything on my Etsy shop for shipping. So what you'll do is you'll contact me. I'll post it as a special order and then I'll send you the link. If you're not comfortable with clicking on links because you know viruses and everything else people go through. You can also just contact me and what I'll do is write down Tammy's Crafty Shop. All one word, two ran together on Etsy.com. And you check out just like you do Amazon. So, you know, if you order, you can hit pay now. Two steps, you're done. Um, if you continue shop, then, of course, it's more clicks what's in your cart. 
but it's very easy to shop on Etsy for people that don't know how because I've had a few people ask me. So it's all up to you. Or I could mail you the link and you can just go right to your special order and purchase. That's up to the person because I totally understand why you would not feel comfortable on clicking links from people you don't know. So that's perfectly fine. So with that, I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. And if you have any questions whatsoever about ordering from me, please contact me. And um, you guys have a great day. Bye.